How is Asian cosmetic surgery different from cosmetic surgery in Caucasians? Board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Shim Ching, Honolulu, Hawaii. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about Asian cosmetic surgery. I think for, for the most part, body surgery is very similar. There may be different desires in the size of implants or different considerations in how the surgery is done and what kind of look is desired. But for the most part, body surgery is very similar. However, when we start talking about the face, Asians will typically need different procedures than what Caucasian patients might get. For example, rhinoplasty, nose surgery. In Caucasians, usually the goal is to make the nose smaller. Usually the tip is too projected, too large, it could be too wide. The bridge could be too high, and usually there's a bump on the bridge of the nose. These are all procedures that reduce the size of the nose. However, in Asians, usually what's desired is a higher bridge or a more projected or more pointy tip. And in those cases, we're actually building up the nose instead of making it smaller. There's quite a big difference, as you can imagine. In North America, many surgeons are very familiar with Caucasian rhinoplasty, where we're reducing the size of the nose. But when you consider making the nose larger, these are techniques that originated in Asia and are slower to come over to North America. To give you an idea of how we're building up or making the nose larger, we're usually using something like a silicone implant for the bridge. Some patients and surgeons prefer to use cartilage for the bridge as well. And what that does is, is build up the bridge of the nose to make it higher. Whenever we reset the bridge of the nose into a different position, we always have to work on the tip of the nose. And because the tip of the nose is usually deficient or under projected or doesn't stick out as much in Asians, we really need to build up the tip of the nose to match the higher bridge. Again, we're using material to build up the tip of the nose. In this case, it's always cartilage. Cartilage needs to be placed in a special manner. Generally, I'm putting in something called a septal extension graft. And what that does is it supports the nose from the inside so we can achieve the higher, sharper tip that many Asians want. The other area that I can touch on is cosmetic eye surgery. Eye surgery is extremely common and probably the most common procedure in Asians is to create a double eyelid fold. A double eyelid fold is a fold in the upper eyelid. Almost all Caucasian people have this, but many Asians don't have this feature. The reason why an Asian would want this feature isn't to look more Caucasian, like people often will criticize or say, it's actually to make the eye look larger. A very important distinction is that Caucasian people have what's called a parallel fold, a fold that goes all the way across the eyelid but does not merge with the inner core of the eye. Asians, on the other hand, generally have a what we call inside fold or merging fold or non-parallel fold, and that fold generally is smaller, meaning the height between the eyelashes and the fold is less. It also merges with the inner core of the eye. It's a very important distinction because I do see a lot of patients who get this surgery and they've been given a Caucasian fold, which almost never looks right on a purely Asian person. However, somebody of mixed race, Asian and Caucasian, could have that sort of fold and still look quite normal. Whatever we want to do with this surgery, we want it to look natural. Ideally, when I create an eyelid fold, I want the patient to look like they were actually born with that feature. And this is a very rewarding procedure for me to do because it really opens up the eyes, makes them look larger, longer, more beautiful, and it really works quite well. And there's a smaller, shorter recovery procedure. Along with eyelid fold creation, the other common procedures are to lengthen the eye, either the inner corner, we call medial epicanthoplasty, or the outer corner, lateral epicanthoplasty. The reasons why a person might want to do this is, again, not to look more Caucasian, but just to have a larger, longer eye. Asians are often born with something called an epicanthal fold, which is a little piece of skin in the inner corner of the eye that covers up that inner corner and it makes the eye look a bit shorter in the horizontal dimension. Similarly, if the eye is too short in the horizontal dimension, we can open up the lateral canthus or the outer corner of the eye to make the eye look longer. Generally, these procedures are not performed in Caucasian patients. They just don't need these procedures. Caucasian eyes can be larger and it's usually not necessary, although there have been exceptions and I have done these kind of procedures in Caucasian patients. We briefly touched on body surgery. In general, Asians prefer a smaller breast implant size, smaller breasts. Often when we do a BBL, Brazilian butt lift, or a fat grafting to the butt, in Asian patients, they're requesting less of an enhancement than some Caucasian patients, but there are definitely exceptions. Everybody is different, and we always cater to what the patient wants because that's how we make patients the most happy. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're considering aging cosmetic surgery, please seek out experienced and skilled plastic surgeon for your surgery. If you like this video, please give us a like down below, give us a comment, subscribe to our channel, and we'll talk to you next time.